Article 13 Lafayette Road Sewer. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,100,000 for the purpose of replacing the sewer main on Lafayette Road from its intersection with High Street to the intersection of Toll Avenue and Winnicunnet Road. The current main is composed of vitrified clay pipes, 10 and 12 inches in size, that were installed in 1934 and 1982 and are in failing condition. Various pieces are missing from the pipe, making it impossible to properly clean and inspect the pipe or to reline the pipe. Therefore, replacement is necessary before complete failure occurs. In the course of replacement, it will be necessary to excavate the eastern side of the highway that will require partial reconstruction of the roadway and patching and repairs to provide a uniform roadway. It will be necessary to reconstruct the entire roadway, as explained in a companion Warren article, and such sum to be raised by the instruments of municipal bonds and notes for a period not to exceed 30 years under an accordance of the Municipal Finance Act. RSA 33 and to authorize the Board of Selectmen and the Town Treasurer to issue and negotiate such bonds or notes and to determine the rate of interest thereon in accordance with the Municipal Finance Act RSA 33 and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, contract for, accept and expand any federal, state or other available funds towards the project in accordance with the terms and conditions under which they are received and to borrow in anticipation of the receipt of such funds and or issuance of such bonds or notes as provided in the Municipal Finance Act RSA 33 and to authorize the participation state revolving fund SRF RSA 486 colon 14 established for the purpose and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for accept and expend such monies as they become available from the federal and state government and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to implement such cost-effective solutions as are presented in the future that they deem to be in the best interest of the town that may result in a lesser amount of expenditure than is authorized by this warrant article and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to take any and all actions necessary to carry out the project in the best interest of the Town of Hampton. Three-fifths vote necessary. Note, final figures will be available at the completion of the engineering and or bidding. Okay. Yeah. I would just like to say this is a case where I do support it. The, build, the pipes are over 30 years older, mm -hmm. and we know that there's something a matter with them. The other pipes, as far as I'm concerned, we don't know. But I would like to uh, move this one. Move second. the second, and then we'll have some conversation. Yeah, I would just like to say that, again, <coughs> as, as Mr. Bean said fairly clearly about the beach down there, this is talking about uptown, and how many restaurants and businesses would be affected by this pipe? This pipe goes all the way up to and past uh, Old Salt. Uh, up and around that area, across the street, back down uh, to the Hagens, uh, that end, and then come all the way down Route 1, everybody on both sides, uh, all the way down to the intersection. So, we're, we're, again, we're talking, if this failed, an absolute dis economic... It's residential, everything commercial, north of Dunkin everything. Dunkin' Donuts would be out of business. Okay. That's how critical the, the location is. Again, I, I agree with Rick. It, it, we know it's broken. We know we know, we know it's not working. It's it's amazing. This has come up a number of times, and I can remember oh five or six years ago this came up, and they had cameraed the lines in 1989, and the lines showed that they had failed. The pipe was failing in 1989, and they they, they, they when the lines were cameraed, they had found this stuff. It came up five or six years ago, and the suggestion by the board at that time was to camera the lines again and see if anything has changed. <laughs> um, nothing has changed. Your new pipe? <laughs> nothing has changed. Uh, matter of fact, I was down there uh, again. I get caught in all these situations, uh, but we had effluent flowing down the street. Uh, it was in late front of, April or early March when the in front of. Uh, Dunkin Donuts because the pipe had got clogged and they to find the clog they couldn't send the camera down and they couldn't send the jet down because they were afraid that if they sent the jet down it would undermine the street and then they'd have to would that be digging up the whole street then uh, they were able to get that clog out of the way get it moved and clean it out the best they could but as Rick said this, these pipes were put in in 
I was to say 1934 and 1982. Uh, so these pipes have been in the ground a long time. This piece is missing. Um, uh, it, just as, as important as those pipes are to the beach, this one is as important to our downtown area. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I, I think it's, again, it's due to not purposely neglecting it, but it's been left over time and it just isn't getting any better. And to do nothing, then we are at fault at not maintaining our infrastructure. And this is something that it's become, it, this, which is different than the one at the beach, we have been told over and over and over again about it. Yep. It's, I've heard it sitting on this board at least four times that we've known that it's damaged and it wasn't fixed. Any, any, an important notion to put forward, Mr. Chairman, is uh, that uh, interest rates are very, very low. Uh, so that is an opportune time. Additionally, uh, the valuation uh, has increased. So there will be softening blows by both of those phenomena uh, to this project. And uh, parts of this uh, pipe literally have no top. And uh, it, it, it has been abject neglect by leadership. Uh, there have been some uh, tough economic times since 2008. Nobody wants to spend money if they don't have to. But uh, this is long overdue, and it, it, uh, it has been abject neglect. Somebody has to step up. Uh, and. Uh, exercise some mature leadership and uh, the, the voters and the, and the people that do uh, live in this town that uh, do frequent and patronize these businesses um, will support it and uh, I'm for it. Thank you. So, yeah. yeah, I'd like to say that this pipe to me is just as important as the two that we have under the marsh. Those are our three lifelines, I want to say, of what, what the town, how the town exists. Without those to me, nothing else matters, so I'm in full support of this Warren article as well. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Unanimous.